Hey everybody, so today we're gonna check out the 301 Stockman that I sent off to Buck uh, to get fixed and get a reblade. Um, before I do that, I just, I got another mail call today. I got them both at the same time, which is kind of ironic, but um, from Mikey Newman. So please go check out his channel, give him a sub, um, leave an insult on one of his videos, whatever. He, he likes it. <laughs> no, thank you, Mikey. Um, but yeah, so I, I sent this off. Um, I was able to send this off because I had a sponsor for this one. And that was uh, Mikey, Mikey Newman. So thank you to Mikey Newman. Please go give him a sub. A uh, really awesome friend, um, as well as everybody, both in the US, UK, Canada, all over the world. You guys are freaking fantastic. Mikey not only gave me money to send this off to Buck, but he paid for the, the fee at Buck. So it was a $10 cleaning fee and then whatever the shipping was, I don't remember. So thank you so much, Mikey. You're freaking awesome. I really do appreciate you and everybody. So if you remember, this was pretty dirty. Even actually when I got it back, it was still, I still had dirt. So I put some oil on it and wiped it down. I was just curious to see the spa treatment when to clean this up. The shield's still pretty dirty. I'll clean up more. But, um... Yeah, they didn't, they didn't do anything to the, the covers or anything, which is fine. I can clean that up easy. I was just curious to see what they do. But the Velox is still not, almost like a new. The blade that they replaced, I don't, I don't know. I should have taken a picture of it. It's, I'll put a link down below to the video. But it was an older knife. But it was hardly used. And um, I don't know if somebody broke it or they just didn't like the clip point. It looked like a coping blade. It was just, you know, almost like half the size. The other blades look brand new. I'll show you those first. Here's the, the spay blade, or almost looks like a, like a spear point or draw point. It doesn't look like a spay, so I'm, I'm not gonna call it a spay anymore. But um, they did sharpen this up. I'll, let me get some of that cut real quick. It is super slicey. I'm just gonna cut this night core pamphlet. Just super easy to cut. They did an awesome job sharpening this up. It doesn't have the greatest snap. I'll show you real quick. Well, that one's good. That one's not too bad. And then um, sheep's foot. Good snap to it. It might need a little bit of stropping towards the end, but it's still super sharp. I barely have to do it. And then we'll see here it snap. And you can kind of see some of the dirt in there. I'm, I got this at a lot of knives for uh, like 20 bucks. And nine knives, and this is one of them. The other one was a, a really nice um, Victorinox. I don't know if he's just setting somebody's toolbox or tackle box or whatever but really cool um before we check out the re re replacement blade i just want to talk about the knife itself you can see that the main pin on this side it sticks up quite a bit you can just see it so that's not a complaint just something i wanted to point out and then um a little bit of stepping right here i don't recall the stepping being quite that pronounced right there Again, it doesn't affect the function of the knife. And um, let's try to see if any light comes through. I don't see any light coming through. Gapping it looks really good. A little bit of stepping there too, but let's check on the main blade. And this is the clip point. And it had a very, very easy pull. This is probably like a four pull, maybe a five. Um, has a, Okay, snap. Too. I'll show you real quick. Not the loudest snap, but still, I'm 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 put some oil in there. I'm going to keep cleaning it and messing with it, see if it gets better. But it doesn't feel sluggish or anything like when I do it. But is it sharp? Oh yeah, it is very, very slicey. So they did an awesome job with the spa treatment. Um, at least just sharpening the blades and making the blades look nice. 
like I said, I'll leave a link down below to the video um, where I showed it originally. And it's kind of a kind of a muted, a muted snap, but I still love this. This is awesome. This is gonna be. I don't know. It's gonna be a, a carry for sure, and it's not a cheap knife. I think these run for about seventy bucks. No pun, no pun intended. But killer knife. It's awesome. I love it. You can close it one one finger easily, one handed, whatever. I'll clean it a little more and see if there's anything that'll make it a little more snappy, but that's that's not bad at all. I don't mind that at all. And also don't get puppies. Puppies suck. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much to, to Mikey Newman, Baldy's Blades. You are awesome. Uh, you're a great friend and I, I love talking with you on Discord. And um, if you guys wanna join Discord, I'll have a link down below in the description. But definitely go check out Mikey Newman. Give him a sub. And um, real quick, Jesse McJames, he is one away from uh, 450. And when he gets to 450, I'm going to dye my hair, what is it, green, green, purple, or blue. Whatever he, whatever he picks, he can pick it. So please go give him a sub. Give Mikey a sub. And uh, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this one. And um, I... I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll leave a link. I don't remember how old the other one was. This one has... Where's it at? Okay, so you feel like right. The 301, and then they have the two-year stamp on there. I don't think the other one had that at all. So it must have been much older, but it was just ruined. And um, I wouldn't have gotten this without Mikey Newman. So thank you so much to Mikey Newman. And Mikey Newman.